Hey guys, welcome back to a Boom Beach video. Today we're going to be ending off the Rainmaker series on the channel until they come out again. But today is the last day that I will have the Rainmakers. Jimmy they expired yesterday for him, but for me today is the last day. And we have a new gumbo ability, the Crystal Critters, so we're going to use them together. <laughs> this damage per second is so funny. It says negative 30 because they give HP to your troops. Uh, I just find that funny. They don't say like healing per second or something. I want to see if the medics say that. I'm also bringing a couple boats of medics so I have a little more energy to use. Yeah, medics they say healing per second but the crystal critters say negative 30. That's so funny. But how many drop out of one? Eight. Okay, we're just gonna hit some player bases. We boosted up one gumboat energy statue. I just want enough energy to land crystal critters whenever I want so we have a couple medics to give us some healing power but mainly just to take down from the initial energy it costs to land our troops then we also have crystal critters don't know how I'm going to use those guys yet but uh, my medics are pretty much all going to die in front because they're all gonna try to heal a bullet and bullet is just not gonna let them. like he's taking them all out onto the front line so maybe medics in Rainmakers are not the best idea and I guess I'm gonna take them out after this hit I guess if I really do want To heal up my troops. I'll just use crystal critters for now on but um Yeah, I wonder if bullet truncates the healing per second given to him or if medics heal up No way. No, that's no way. I was gonna say what if medics heal up more than his uh, damage cut off is if it truncates it but his damage cuts off at like 800 a thousand there's no way one medic deals that much in one toss of medic killing power or whatever okay just letting my rainmakers go it will also be nice to have more more like firepower i was just thinking the medics are low-key kind of helping me because when bullet stands in the dead zone of a particular defense Okay, that was super close. When bullet stands in the dead zone of a defense, they don't, like the rocket launchers and shock launchers end up targeting my medics and not my rainmakers. So I guess it could be helpful, but um, I don't think it's worth having. Okay, we'll take down one rocket launcher in the back. I'm a little worried about the time. Um, six rainmakers, I don't think we'll be able to go very fast they fire like once every eight or ten seconds four bullets each they deal a little bit of shrapnel but for the most part this guy's base seems pretty anti rainmaker just because his defenses aren't super clumped I guess they were kind of clumped down here but most of his defenses are up at the top these were just little support and uh, offensive buildings not defensive buildings so Hopefully we'll have enough time. We're going to take down the, the shock launcher. That will be the last defense in range of my troops. We'll jump. Okay, that one guy. Okay, we got critters down. I <laughs> thought that one Rainmaker would take it down, but it ended up needing some critters up in there. I am tempted to drop a, a reflare. We're going to drop a reflare down. Because I need my Rainmakers all to be focused on the headquarters and not on these buildings up here which are spread out and not helping me so now it's just a time battle we'll definitely get it guys rainmakers are pretty strong when they're latched onto a building and in numbers we'll be able to take it down so to say this is a critter crystal critter video also we're gonna get some crystal critters down to help us out they didn't help at all but okay next attack we're gonna bring eight boats of rainmakers and we're gonna try to use crystal critters if I need to heal up my troops. Let's say no med kits. So I can't use med kits on my troops. I can only use um, I can only use the crystal critters to heal up my troops. This is such a weird combination. I was able to <laughs> misuse the system. Not misuse the system, but you know, buy my Raymakers on the last day so I get them for longer. Um, I mean I didn't get them when they first came out and everyone else had them. So I had them for the same amount of time, it's just I positioned myself in a better way than most people. So now I can have the Rainmakers and the Crystal Critters. Bullet. 
Rainmakers critters because I'm a little worried about that cannon and boom cannon uh, and then a shock cannot drop a shock great I really need to shock that boom surprise don't want to dealing all that damage good boom surprise is taken out let's get bullet activated get some get some damage up from him and heal him up a bit literally as soon as that hot pot comes up bullet is screwed it's gonna get destroyed as soon as that hot pot as soon as that hot pot emerges I honestly don't know if I'll be able to beat this base for the main reason that all of his rocket launchers are in the back and bullet is gonna be dead by the time I get to that point by the time I get back there um, okay we activate bullet but we seriously need to shock that hot pot as fast as possible and it's nice because it's up right now but bullet yeah bullets dead okay do I need to shock it no perfect okay bullet is about to die now we'll drop a shock on the long ranged how is bullet still alive Probably could have healed them up and kept them alive. Whatever. Okay, we're gonna start barting down this back rocket launcher and this rocket launcher over here. Well, just artillery. Perfect. All of his range is taken out. I guess now it is. Okay, and that one rock, that one shock launcher had a little bit. So now we'll drop some cursor critters to come in, do some damage control, get us up to full HP. They work very well, like compared to a med kit, I feel like crystal critters, um, one, they have a larger range because they could walk everywhere and heal up your troops until they expire. I believe it said 15 seconds until they expire, until they blow up, I guess, not expire. Expire would mean when they leave your gunboat. I don't know when or at what level your crystal critters are unlocked. Okay, this base is a lower level base, but it looks pretty rough. Um, okay, we're gonna just take it from the side. We're gonna try to milk the system a little bit. I just, I really don't want to land Bullet yet, because Bullet is gonna get completely fried, and I need Bullet to last me up here until I destroy all of the boom can Doom Cannons. Okay, land our troops. Kind of alternating, not sure if that's a good strategy or not. But as soon as we take down some of the residences, and as soon as we drop that, get bullet landed, distract everything. Good, the doom cannon focused on bullet. Um, if that rocket, oh shoot, if that shock launcher, I'm sorry, if that shock launcher changes direction. It did, but we took it out just in time. Perfect. I'm liking the way this is going. Um. I'm gonna save my energy. I'm gonna save my energy a little bit just to heal up bullet. I healed him up once just so he could get far ahead of my troops up to the doom cannons because as soon as the doom cannons are taken out we'll be fine. We can deal with a couple rocket launchers but the doom cannons is what is going to hurt us the most. Okay we're gonna be able to boost him up one more time and that should be perfect. Here we go. I'll get some crystal critters down to heal up my troops. Stop just anti rocket launcher crystal critters. <laughs> you know, it's nice just having some crystal critters I can just toss down to heal up my troops. I don't normally have that, but cool. There we go. Very, very nice. That was a solid attack, honestly. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised at how easy that was. But I guess his base was laid out, not very widespread. It was more narrow and long which I mean your Rainmakers I mean bullet will be targeted by most of the defenses that way versus if it was more of a wide base more spread out the defenses would be more likely to target your Rainmakers okay we got some shards we'll hit this guy we'll see if okay I'm purposefully avoiding uh, grappler hook bases because grappler hook bases I need to I need to Bart um, barred it down before my bullet gets there because he's my, my main shield here but we're gonna try this space <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work I'm just gonna space out my Raymakers like this and I'll drop my crystal critters once I need to heal up my troops and in the meantime we're just gonna start taking down 
this grappler that was way too easy oh my gosh that grapple hook just got roasted by my artilleries this guy has no ice and he's a level 63 so it's a really easy base i always just get a little bit nervous when i'm using bullet and a base has a grappler hook because it can easily just take them and just run with them you know okay get a couple crystal critters down heal up my my rainmakers just amazing how how well this works oh man i love it so much and they're even gonna walk up on the front line and heal up bullet which is even better for us cool easy easy peasy i'm gonna just bark down the rocket launcher we don't need to but i just want to maybe i'll go out a little faster we'll take down the laser beam laser beams a two artillery to take down a laser beam looking at the base we don't have a problem bullet i just activated bullet for the first time just now and the base is almost destroyed bullet is a freaking beast it's really easy when a base has no ice and under level defenses <laughs> and you're using a, a troop combination like rainmakers where you could just literally just plow the base down cool I hope you guys did enjoy this video. This was a really easy challenge. If you guys have a troop combination you want me to use, I'm going to do Smokey Rifleman probably next video using some crystal critters. That should be fun. But um, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like as always. And I'll talk to you guys next time.